I love these kind of shoots. I'm using the Fuji X106 and the Fuji EF-X20 flash. Love this little flash. I actually get to use this in TTL mode <laughs> for the first time. I always use it on the Leica and everything else, but I, you know, I don't get a chance to use it on Fuji that often, so this should be a lot of fun. I wanna see how it does in TTL mode on the um, X106. I'm also going to develop these in Capture One. Now, for some odd reason, I did a shoot with this the other day, and I was like not happy with the colors completely. And it was kind of like, you know, screwing with me a little bit. It, natural colors in, in Lightroom without flash, I didn't have a problem with. But when I used flash, I was like, yeah, the colors were kind of funky to me. So I pulled it into Capture One just to try it, see if there was a difference. It seemed like there was a difference. And it also seems like a, there's a difference with the, um, the development of these images you know, the raw images in Capture One versus Lightroom. Like, it was a more pleasing rendering. And I could be completely wrong about that. I don't know, but I'm gonna use it again and see how I do with Capture One um, and go from there. Anyway, come join me on this shoot. This should be a lot of fun. I love on-camera flash look. It just, it still, it still makes me scratch my head why I love it so much. Uh, Cause I hated it so much growing up as a young photographer and now I absolutely love it. So. Join me on this trip with the Fuji X106, the Fuji X EF X20 flash, and capture one for the first time with this camera. Thanks for watching as always. Well, I'm probably gonna talk more about the uh, capture one and, and the processing versus the flash, because it just worked. Um, I was really surprised in TTL mode. Uh, it just, it pretty much nailed um, the exposure every time, which I was really thrilled with. And I did vertical and horizontal shooting here. So you'll see the shadowing uh, against the white uh, with the vertical, but it still looks good. It was a pleasing image. Now using Capture One, I started with the iPad um, version. Uh, they, have, they have an app now for iPad, which was, you know, it rendered the images nicely, but it was kind of convoluted to use. It was just not something I'm used to, which uh, you know, I don't want to down on Capture One uh, because I don't know how to use it. <laughs> and that's the reason I'm not showing it to you. Like, I'm not going through using it because it would be embarrassing for me. Um, but the image quality, the image rendering that it produced is fantastic. Now, this is higher ISOs out, outside the studio. Um, and it did a really, a, a much better job with higher ISOs than Lightroom does. Um I love the rendering that that the images have through Capture One. They seem to know the X-Trans sensor or process the X-Trans sensor much, much better than Lightroom does. I thought there would be just a slight improvement. And, and I was re really ready to say, hey, there's just a slight improvement until the very last image that I'm going to show you in this set, um, which was ISO 6400. And in Lightroom, it just looked trashy. <laughs> Uh, but Capture One made it look really, really good. Um, the flash itself, it didn't miss. Now remember, the key when using on-camera flash is to have some kind of ambient light, otherwise you're going to get red eye and so forth. Now I did take it outside the studio uh, in, in more challenging situations, and surprisingly I didn't get red eye, which, which I was pushing to get the red eye so I could explain that fact to you saying, Hey, listen, you know, use it when you have some kind of ambient light versus, you know, just darkness. Um, but it didn't work out that way. For some reason, I didn't have red eye in any of my images. This one here, um, I was sure I would be getting red eye in this. I didn't, I didn't have to correct anything. It just worked. Um, and this is straight TTL. The, the, the it nailed it. I, I don't know what else to say. And vertical images, with an on-camera flash, I usually absolutely hate them. For some reason, I just like them with this setup. Um, you know, and I apologize to be showing the EFX20, which is, you know, five, $600 used now, but um, the flash does work really, really well with this camera. The other thing that I found was, I, I, this is the first time I, I saw the rolling shutter issue in a still image. Here it is here, you can see it in her face. Um, look at her mouth. It's like stretched out because she was shaking her head. Um, that was an issue. Now this last image here is ISO 6400 and it renders beautiful 
in Capture One. But if I did this in Lightroom, I just hated the look of it. Um, I thought it was way, you know, just too noisy. Um, but this, I don't mind it at all.